Welcome back to Crypto Toronto. In this video, I would like to discuss the chain, how it's currently performing, and how it will be performing during the upcoming days. Do not forget to follow me down below in the description underneath social and info. You will be able to follow me on Twitter at Thorough Crypto. And as well, do not forget to give me a big thumbs up down below so you will be supporting the channel by doing so. So thank you very much already. So let's get started on VeChain. On the four hourly time frame, I would like to get started. And what you can clearly see immediately is that I've drawn this descending resistance with multiple touch points below. So we have seen multiple touch points below this descending resistance. Therefore, this is a confirmed descending resistance line and as well a major level of resistance above us. So that is something you would like to take into consideration if we would see right now further increase in price action that we might get rejected once we reach this descending resistance so that is for sure one of the possibilities if we enable right now the ema ribbon you can clearly see that we are retesting on the four hourly time frame the ema ribbon as a level of resistance it is currently aligned together with the 23.6 percent fibonacci at 0 0.09 dollar cents therefore this is a major level of support and resistance where we are currently trading at and we would actually like to see a stronghold getting found on top of this range to see even further continuation after Afterwards. Well, this being said, I would like to head right away towards a one hourly time frame where I would like to discuss two different things. So let's get started by looking at the EMA ribbon. For sure, the EMA ribbon on the one hourly time frame does actually look very good, especially because we are getting supported right now on the one hourly time frame right underneath the 23.6% Fibonacci. And therefore, I think it is very likely that we are going to see a stronghold getting found where we are currently trading at of even perhaps a further increase in price action. What else is actually quite good to know is that we did actually see previously something quite important taking place we did see this breakout above this descending resistance we did saw this descending resistance we did see a breakout and right now we are seeing an increase in price action so that is for sure absolutely important but what i think is actually good to know is that if we zoom in a little bit closer we are inside of this ascending parallel channel therefore we have seen multiple touch points on top of this ascending support we have seen as well multiple touch points below this ascending resistance and i would like to let you know what the possible breakout target it is going to be by selecting its first touch point on the ascending support towards the first touch point below the ascending resistance so if we do see a breakdown occur right now the possible breakdown would be approximately seven percent towards the downside and it will be heading all the way towards the 0 0.08 dollar cents but if we do see an increase of approximately seven percent breaking out above this ascending resistance we will be heading towards a retest underneath the 38.2% Fibonacci at $11. And that is for sure something I think could be possible during the upcoming days and hours. And therefore, I will be monitoring this ascending parallel channel very closely, especially right now, because we do not want to see a breakdown occur below this ascending support range. This being said, I would like to discuss right away the MACD. On the MACD watch, you can clearly see that we are heading towards a crossover. Therefore, I think it is likely that we're going to experience more downward momentum. But as I've said previously, on the one hourly time frame we would like to stay on top of this a email ribbon if we do not hold strong on top of this range it is very likely that we are going to see that further decline as i showed you previously heading towards the target range underneath this ascending parallel channel so this is also a possibility for the upcoming short term but for sure if we would like to see a further continuation towards the upside holding strong on top of the EMA ribbon would actually be a better for the overall trend as well this being said i would like to head towards a four hourly time frame where you can clearly see that we are as well experiencing momentum towards the upside and we are not yet seeing any type of momentum loss so that is actually showing me that it is very likely that we are going to see a momentum loss but a crossover is not happening anytime soon it could happen if we would see further decline in price action but if we do hold strong eventually Eventually, we will see once more a crossover on the one hourly time frame taking place with momentum towards the upside and perhaps we are not going to see a crossover on the four hourly time frame due to this fact. Lastly, I would like to take a look at the RSI on the both the four hourly and one hourly time frame. On the four hourly time frame, you can clearly see that we saw previously a bullish divergence. We did see this lower low getting created on the chart and this higher low getting created on the RSI. Therefore, we did see this increase on the RSI afterwards, and we did see as well an increase in price action. So that is actually something very good to know. As well, we are not seeing any type of bullish or bearish divergences so far. So that is actually looking good as well. On the one hour 
hourly time frame we are clearly seeing that we broke out above the dotted line on the upper part therefore we did see this minor decline in price action taking place that is for sure something noticeable as well on the chart and what else are we seeing well we are not seeing any type of bullish or bearish divergences so far but what i think is actually quite good to know is that if we are going to see right now a stronghold getting found we could perhaps see a minor decline still get, placing itself above the 50 range on the rsi and eventually seeing a movement towards the upside so right now we could expect further decline on the rsi but breaking down below the 50 range would actually be devastating we could be heading once more towards a touch point underneath and therefore we would be expecting a breakdown all the way towards the target range underneath this pattern at approximately 0 0.058 dollar cents so for sure these are the scenarios right now to summarize, what we would like to see for a further continuation is a stronghold getting created underneath or on top of the 23.6% Fibonacci, eventually seeing a stronghold getting found and seeing movement towards the upside, retesting this descending resistance range. Otherwise, if we do not hold strong on top of the EMA ribbon and this ascending support, it is very likely that we are going to see a decline getting placed, heading towards the 0 0.085 dollar cents and eventually perhaps seeing further decline afterwards. So thank you very much for watching this video if you did enjoy the content do not forget to give me a big thumbs up down below it will be highly appreciated and you will be supporting the channel by doing so so thank you very much already and have a nice day